Today I wanted to talk uh, about dispatching and uh, whether dispatching is becoming a thing of uh, the past. So uh, in the last uh, couple of years, uh, dispatching really took off, especially dispatching from home, uh, dispatching from abroad as well, uh, if you're not from United States. So that kind of really took off in the last few months, even though the markets have been really bad for uh, as far as uh, trucking goes. Uh, and uh, with a few things that happened recently, uh, I'm afraid that uh, it's going to be uh, much, much harder, especially if you're from overseas, uh, to dispatch trucks in the United States. If you already have uh, your dispatching company, uh, you'll be okay, uh, hopefully. But uh, if you're planning to start right now, it's going to become harder. Why? Well, uh, first, uh, FMCSA uh, came uh, out a uh, couple of times with uh, new explanations for uh, uh, new dispatchers, uh, how to, uh, you know, register them. Uh, are, are these dispatchers actually brokers? What are they? How to regulate them? So uh, two times they uh, put out some uh, information and uh, some instructions uh, whether you should apply to be a broker or just do what you're doing and then some rules as well and now dat load board has made it uh, more difficult for dispatchers to sign up uh, especially if you are not in united states it doesn't uh, even matter if you have a company here in in united states uh, if you're not here physically then uh, they are making it uh, hard to, for you to sign up. And uh, I spoke to them a, a while ago when I was uh, registering uh, my new dispatching company, and I'm actually here in the United States. Uh, the company is here, everything is here, everything is legit. And they still uh, asked me questions, and I asked them, hey, well, so what if I was abroad? Would, would it be difficult for me to sign up? They said, well, uh, we want you to be here uh, when you're doing business here, all right? So that's, that's what they told me. Uh, and uh, now they're getting rid of some of the promotions uh, that they have been uh, having for a while, and uh, we are not supposed to talk about that yet, uh, but uh, pretty soon uh, some of these promotions will end and uh, they will have new promotions, but these new promotions uh, will also make it uh, more difficult for new dispatchers to sign up as well. Uh, so I uh, heard a lot of comments on the channel that uh, uh, you guys are trying to uh, sign up for uh, uh, the DAT load board and then even use that 30-day uh, uh, free option, the promotion. Uh, but then uh, when uh, they don't let you sign up on their website anymore, now you have to call them, and that's what they told me as well. And uh, when you call them, they tell you, they ask you where you're from, are you in the United States, and if you're not here, for example, if you have a credit card that's uh, from uh, someplace else or... Uh, if you cannot prove that you're here in the United States, th uh, they will not give you an account. So that makes it difficult for you to work. Uh, truck stop uh, traditionally uh, has not allowed dispatchers to uh, even sign up, and that's a, a no-go. Uh, and the DAT board uh, right now is implementing same things, and I wouldn't be surprised if in the uh, future they uh, say, you know, they come up with even stricter rules. Uh, and I'm not going to go into that, why they're doing that. It's their own company. They don't think they can do what they want. Uh, but uh, the fact of the matter is that it's going to be much, much harder uh, in future to sign up for DAT board. As a dispatcher, DAT board is, as you know, the main load board. Everyone is there. And um, if you don't have access to it, it would be very difficult uh, for anyone to dispatch. Uh, you know, one truck you might go by, but if you have like five or ten trucks, then it would be uh, impossible to, to dispatch trucks without the AT board or truck stop, all right? Now, there are some workarounds, and I know some dispatchers have been using those, like uh, 
they would uh, sign up uh, for the AT board or, or uh, someone would, else would give them access, like one of the carriers that they're dispatching. But that's pretty uncertain. Like, what are you going to do when that carrier leaves? They're probably just going to uh, tell you not to you know, change the password and you're not going to have access to it anymore. So you always will have to improvise. I'm not saying it's impossible. Uh, I'm sure there are ways. But uh, to do it uh, legitimately, uh, and uh, it, it's just going to be very hard uh, to to access DAT board uh, if you are from overseas. Let me know uh, if you have any comments on that. You know, have you had any experiences or trouble signing up with DAT board as someone from overseas, or even someone who is from here, United States, because they will not let you use their services unless you have a a company registered here in one of the uh, states. This is Anis uh, from Never Stop Trucking. Uh, we do uh, dispatching courses. We do a lot of other things. Check out uh, neverstoptruck.in uh, for downloads and other things as well. I'll see you guys around.